Afternoon folks, on me again, Sean from Happy Days Veg. You find me here at home, outside. There's my shed, you can see part of my shed there. Uh, this is where I'm building my new chicken coop. More about the coop in a later video, because there's a lot to be said about that. Uh, I just want to talk about this chicken run. Now, I expected this to be done months and months ago, but you know, for whatever reason, it hadn't been done. So, here we are. Now, where I live in North Wales, the, uh, the weather, mainly the wind, mind you, and the rain, the rain is torrential, but the wind is unbelievable. So anything you build has got to be industrial construction grade, like everything else I built, yeah? There's no point in building a flimsy little chicken run, because you're going to wake up one day, and it's not going to be there, and all your chickens are going to be dead. So. This is as far as I've got. I've got these, I've sunk 10, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, three by three treated posts into the ground at equal spacings. These D rails that you buy from the agricultural supplies, these are four inches wide and they're the longest piece of stock timber you can buy, 4.8 meters or roughly 16 feet. So knowing I've used these before, I knew that that was the maximum length I wanted to build my chicken coop so I can build it out of all one, one solid piece of wood with no joints, yeah? So, I've got three by three uprights. I've got three by two sp uh, joists running from this side to the other side, bolted in the side with 100 mil treated decking screws that I'd left over from a decking project, yeah? And then I've got three of these four inch, 4.6 meter uh, D-rails running lengthways to support the roof, to screw the roof in, yeah? And I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four. I've got five sheets of roofing and just a slither eight inches wide down the side, yeah? So, I marked out the holes, I've done the holes, I put in the posts, then I built the frame first, got it all roughly square, uh, and then yesterday, I, uh, last thing, after putting the roof struts on, last thing, I cranked up the old cement mixer and I cemented in all the posts and the two posts around the front of my chicken coop. So, let me give you some rough dimensions first. From here to the end, roughly 16 feet. These roofing sheets are 10 foot long. So, it's, this chicky coop is 10 foot wide, yeah? Which roughly works out at 160 square feet, yeah? Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna get six or eight chickens yet, but if I have eight chickens, that's 20 square feet uh, a chicken, which is ample. More about the space in a second. So down here on the floor, I've got some three foot wide, three foot wide, heavy duty, two inch squared fencing. It's used for all sorts of things, DIY, uh, cages, all sorts of things, you know, anything. But it's it's not suitable to have on a chicken coop because a chicken coop, you've got to keep the wild birds out as well, yeah? So, but this is uh, making it fox-proof, yeah? So basically, what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have one of these derails at low level there, and then another one so far up, and I'm gonna have a a section of roofing sheet, yeah, going all the way around the bottom of the chicken coop, yeah? Probably about two foot tall. Yeah, two foot tall, yeah? It's gonna be more in some places and slightly less in others because, like everywhere else on this land, there's not a flat piece of land, so every one of these posts are di different length. The, the land's undulated and sloping. That's the highest point, this is the lowest point. But what I wanted to do was to have a solid 
section around the bottom which will just keep the, the driving wings in the winter the wind because all the cold air falls and the, and the cold air will go across the ground and because it's sloping it'll all leg this way so all I wanted to do was create a bit of a windbreak uh, to stop the majority of the harsh wind just blowing straight across the ground in this chicken coop just to protect the chickens because I tell you for what in the harshness of the winter the chickens will be left in here all the other times you'll open the little door and they will have the ability to free range anywhere on my land right that's why I haven't got to worry about how many chickens I have in here because I know during the day they're all going to be out running around in the fields in the trees behind you so the metal sheeting is going to come up two foot and then what you do is I've got to make some uh, uh, what you call them pegs like an, a, a walking stick shape with a curved end to peg this uh, uh, metal wire the, uh, what's it called this wire fencing down to the ground and then all the dirt I've scraped away from it I'm going to backfill it up to about a foot yeah uh, and then a, you won't see the grid then, and then B, when spring comes, I can plant all the, well I'm not going to bother planting flowers, but I'll probably seed it, but all the weeds and the grass will grow through, and it'll all be not, within, within, by the end of next season, all this will be like, covered in grass, lovely, yeah, all the way around, yeah, so that's that, and then, I've, most of the, uh, half inch squared poultry, uh, mesh comes in uh da, 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 three foot rolls yeah so three foot uh i haven't decided exactly how much mesh i'm going to have but what i do know is half of this from this post across to there is going to be the same roofing sheet all enclosed same on the other side and that's where the door is and the door is going to be enclosed so even in the harshest of weathers all this half of this area will stay bone dry yeah the wind predominantly comes in that direction and the rain comes in that direction predominantly sometimes it changes but notwithstanding nine times out of ten it's going in that direction so that means this area will stay bone dry also that will be a nice safe place to put the, the, the chicken watering bucket and the chicken feeding bucket in there yeah and It'll be bone dry and it'll be like a natural dust bath. And also, you can't see up there, I've got a plastic kiddies sand pit that I use to uh, give the sheep water. So I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to make a sand, uh, a dust bath in there with play sand and a uh, diametaceous earth. If that's how you pronounce it, I'll have to double check. Uh, I'm doing nothing with the ground. I'm leaving it as it is because them chickens are like little mini excavators and they'll just scratch and turn that land over. Yes, this side will get wet, and I'll worry about that at a later date. But, as I say, that's the plan. Up to there, on both sides, with a roofing sheet, with a nice cappy, yeah? So that's going to be foxproof and windproof. And then, around here, uh, mesh. Uh, and what I might do for the harshest of weather, uh, I might buy some of the... You know the heavy duty corrugated plastic roof roof lights you have in the factories, really thick. They let the light in, but they're really strong. I might buy some of them and uh, uh, cover that section, yeah, and maybe half of that section with those during the winter. We'll see where the where the wind's blowing, and uh, and then cover them in so they get the light, but they got the shelter because you've got to look after your chickens. So that's as far as I've got. So the next step is, I've got to make a cup of tea because I've just smashed my mug, another mug, I'm running out of mugs. So I've got to, tomorrow I'm going to go out and I'm going to source some mesh to do this. Uh, and then I'll make a decision on the mesh. I want to pick up a couple of more of these D rails. Uh, so yeah, it's all coming on. I'll do a separate video about the chicken coop because a chicken coop is fantastic, out of this world, heavy duty timber framed ply line and then cladded on the outside with a roofing sheet beautiful 
doors on either end, doors on the front, nest box on the other side. So that's coming on a treat. But yeah, this is this is uh, how it is. So any questions, any comments, uh, let me know. Oh, and I used my sheet metal bender. Have a look at my other videos. I used my sheet, homemade sheet metal bender to bend these pieces of, uh, of wire meshing because you'd never bend that as nice as that by hand, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna go and make, uh, I don't know how many pegs I need. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna make 20 pegs and peg this into the ground using uh, either six mil or eight mil all thread, threaded rod. Cut them to length, heat it up, bend the end over like a big hook, hammer them down. So yeah. So quick dimensions again, just for you, anybody who's got chickens. I'm either having six or eight chickens. I'll probably get eight, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but I've got, not counting the area under the coop, I've got uh, 160 square feet of floor space in there. But these chickens won't be kept in there all the time. Apart from the harshest of days, they'll be kept in. The rest of the time, they'll be free to uh, roam out so and what I'll be doing is I'll uh, I'll create a little uh, trap door somewhere here let uh, you pull the lever and it opens up so they can step over and a little ramp down job done right time for a cup of tea see you guys later oh I've got I haven't got a clue what the day is uh, I think it's Wednesday and I've got no idea of the date got no idea of the date but I know it's October that's all you need to know October 21 so until then happy days man's a genius <laughs>